Joyce, they've closed for a couple of days here over security concerns. The folks here at Black Coffee Northwest are very outspoken about their support for the Black Lives Matter movement, but now someone is trying to silence them. There was like a swastika here and like here. The hatred has been washed away, but the damage is done. Does it hurt? It does hurt. Um, it hurts a lot. Michaela Weary is just 17 and the president of Black Coffee Northwest, a black owned business that hires and trains youth of color so they can open up their own businesses one day. But earlier this week, swastikas were scrawled outside the shop. Michaela, though, is not intimidated. I see it as a call to action. Action that's needed to counter the hatred being inflicted here. Just three months ago, someone firebombed the business with Molotov cocktails, attempting to burn this business to the ground. Michaela's mom, Darnisha, says the message being sent is get out. But that's not the message she's hearing. We're needed here. This space and at this time and who we're serving is what needs to happen here. Hi. Hello. What can I get for you? And this community appreciates this business. Once word got out about the vandalism, the line at the drive through was 15 cars deep. Thank you so much. But Darnisha says among them were people who made offensive comments to the kids working the window. Why does it have to be called black coffee? We already know you're black. They are having to deal with terrible comments every single day. In a Facebook post, Black Coffee Northwest announcing it is closing for the next two days to increase security and give workers some time to decompress. But Darnisha says they are not going away. We cannot back down. We have to keep going because we may we, we're not going to see the change right now. We're not going to see the big change right now, but in generations to come, we want to keep the work going. Black Coffee Northwest says it plans to reopen Saturday at 10 a.m. Meantime, police continue their two investigations into the incidents here. They say a $10,000 reward is being offered for the arrest of the arsonist. You can send your tips to Shoreline Police. Live in Shoreline tonight, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.